do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true allegiance and faith, true faith and allegiance to the state. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the state. That I take this obligation freely. And that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge my duties in the Peace Corps. And that I will well and faithfully discharge my duties in the Peace Corps. So help me God. So help me God. So please join me in congratulating the members of the Peace Corps Fiji 92nd group of peace corps volunteers. The deputy chief um, of mission of the U.S. Embassy, Mr. Douglas uh, Sonic, uh, country director of U.S. Peace Corps, Mr. Eddie Strice, uh, respective uh, directors and managers, uh, U.S. Uh, peace corps volunteer. We can call you now your volunteer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> Uh, and good afternoon to you all. Uh, at the onset, please allow me to convey my sincere gratitude for the invitation extended to me to be part of this most auspicious of occasion in any U.S. Peace Corps volunteer's life. This uh, invitation was cordially uh, extended to me while meeting with your with our country director a few, uh, few weeks back, Mr. Eddie Stice. And I'm uh, deeply honored to officiate here, here today uh, to witness uh, you taking up your oath of service. As uh, Peace Corps volunteers, uh, you have each given uh, every thought into wholeheartedly offering up uh, your service for the benefit of others. This was uh, undoubtedly one of the cornerstones on which uh, the U.S. Peace Corps was uh, founded. And uh, I can also uh, testify to the nature of the work that the Peace Corps actively engages itself in because I have personally seen all the good and the commendable uh, aspect that have been brought about through the wonderful initiative that is the U.S. Peace Corps. Your history is a shine in service uh, since the establishing of Peace Corps as a new agency within the Department of uh, State by President John F. Kennedy on the 1st of March 1961. Your service has always been for the poor and the underprivileged of the world. And I, may I reminded you that uh, I, I hope that one of you become uh, the, the next Ali Pati of Nassau to be the lead singer and made a record in, in the FBC. <laughs> For 54 years since uh, your establishment, uh, the US government has been uh, sending trained American men and women uh, to foreign nations to assist in uh, development efforts and Fiji throughout the years. It has indeed been uh, fortunate to receive all that you have offered. Uh, therefore, truly, it is more blessed to give me to receive, and at this juncture, I wish to thank all past and present Peace Corps uh, for the contribution towards Fiji and her people. On this note, I wish to also uphold Pisco Fiji for the initiative shown by you in your efforts to develop and implement the, the community uh, youth empowerment project. This endeavor which will uh, ensure the, the youth in Fiji that have knowledge, skills, and opportunities to live and develop healthy and productive lives and avoid uh, potential risks 
and challenges that may, they may face, uh, such as unwanted pregnancy, unemployment, drug, alcohol, alcohol use, and suicide. I also commended the uh, Peace Corps Fiji for the foresight into guaranteeing that the youth will indeed become major beneficiaries of Peace Corps activities, as you saw, youth as part of the population with whom uh, Peace Corps volunteers could have a significant, uh, significant impact given uh, national priority, community needs, and volunteers' experience and skills. It is therefore pleasing to note that the com Community Youth uh, Empowerment Project, a framework that focuses on uh, behavioral changes, promotion and capacity building activities to empower youth to live more healthy lives, make healthy decisions, and gain access to programs that support positive youth development. Therefore, please rest assured that you will have the unwavering support of the government in the development stages and the implementation of community youth empowerment uh, project because this is, will undoubtedly augur well with our core objective, which is to empower and uh, foster youth development at its highest degree. I have no reservation that uh, young Fijians will have improved emotional, physical, and uh, mentally health and social outcomes as a, diff, uh, as a direct result of this project. I'm also op uh, optimistic that youth will have be better opportunities to positively impact the communities through access, uh, increased access of effective health education, life skill, and positive uh, youth programs, as well as through the adoption of healthy behaviors and lifestyles. Uh, to the 35 volunteers, you have solemnly promised to promote Peace Corps principles of respect and friendship across uh, national and cultural boundary as you serve in institutions and communities around Fiji. This ceremony signals the successful completion of the uh, intensive 10 weeks language, technical, and cross-cultural training program, which uh, you have thoroughly undertaken in villages in the province of Telugu. So as you are sent into your respective schools, uh, training centers and communities as youth development coordinators, please ensure that your knowledge and skills are fully utilized and exploited because youth in Fiji have a lot of energy and a lot of potential, but like the youth all over, all over the world, they don't always work together. The potential which is uh, why full utilization of volunteers is very important. Before I conclude, I take this time to once again thank the U.S. Peace Corps for its 42 years, uh, years of service to the people of Fiji. And I look forward for working together in the future to effectively contribute towards ensuring the development of all young Fijians. Uh, to all who are present here this afternoon, uh, I wish to leave you with the challenge voiced by U.S. President uh, John F. Kennedy in his famous inaugural address, whereby he appealed, and I quote, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country, unquote. May, you, may your two years of service in, your, in our island nation uh, bring you with it all its just reward, uh, contented feeling, and an and, and overall sense of un, un, accomplishment. With those few words, uh, volunteers, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Bodan Bad and Binakabalibu.